I'm Haley. Today we're going to embark on what is perhaps the most vain conversation that I will ever have here. But alas, it's how I feel and it's where I'm at. So <laughs> we're going to talk about it. That is, as you can probably guess by the title of the video, cover changes. What do I mean when I say cover changes? Do I mean like cover changes from the very first edition to, you know, the most recently printed one 50 years later? No, I'm talking more along the lines of an ongoing series that has recently had a cover redesign. This is just how I feel about cover changes and I acknowledge openly that I feel like some of my opinions are a little bit ridiculous. <sighs> but that's just kind of where it's at. I loathe cover changes and this is a very recent development for me. I used to not even care a little bit. Don't even care a little bit because I used to read almost exclusively on my Kindle, so cover didn't matter at all. A couple years ago, I started doing the whole bookstagram thing, so taking, you know, staged pictures of books, and I started paying a lot more attention to covers. I went back to actually having shelves and owning physical copies of books. Covers matter. I hate it when I'm taking a picture of a whole series and half of them don't match. It drives me insane. And I recognize that it's ridiculous. I mean, there's the whole saying, right? Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> That's literally what I'm doing. That's what this video is about. I'm judging covers. Some cover changes are lovely. The new ones I, I like more than the old ones. They're prettier. That's great. That's wonderful. But they don't match. All that being said, cover changes don't really matter. The words in the book are the same. The cover doesn't affect the story at all. And especially if it's a series I'm already invested in. I'm already invested. The new cover or the old cover is not going to draw me in. I'm already a part of the story. So this is all a little ridiculous, but I'm so irritated by it that I wanted to share <laughs> with you anyway. So I'm going to walk through some cover changes. Some I like, some I don't, but they all drive me insane. So the first one on the list might actually surprise you, and it doesn't quite fit the criteria that I had just described in that an ongoing series gets cover changed because with this series, all of the books have a consistent cover, but the very first book, when it first came out, had a different cover, and it is quite different. So that is actually the Throne of Glass series. So these are the covers that we're all familiar with. These are the ones we love. We have um, Selena on the front cover, carrying some kind of weapon with her badass hair, just looking super awesome. The original cover was that. Mm. You might not know this, but I don't care for covers with people on them. And you might be saying to yourself, well, Haley, the Throne of Glass cover right now has a person. Okay, this is an illustration in my mind. This is not a person person, this is a drawing of a person. Totally fine. Illogical and unnecessary caveat, yes, but that's just more than that. I don't like it, um, so I'm actually super glad they changed the cover, and I'm very glad they changed the cover right at the beginning of the series so that I can have the whole thing matching. This just looks nice. Next one is moderately similar in that we went from illustration to person. So this one is the uh, Dark Days Club. This is lovely! I love this! I mean, you can kind of see, right? You can kind of see how it's got the business up here. Yes, person, but not just like a rando standing awkwardly on the cover. It's got beautiful end pages. This is so nice! I don't like the people on the front. I, I don't know. Am I, like, am I alone here? Someone help me. Do you, do you prefer that one? to this one. I can't be alone in this. Someone help. Okay, this one was kind of a struggle for me because I don't super love the original covers. They're fine, but they're not, it's not like my favorite thing in the world. And that is the Winner's Curse series. So the original covers, each one features what I, who I assume to be Kestrel, the main character, just wearing a different pretty dress. The, it's okay, but I think the, I think the sideways font and the typeface itself, lovely. I think I I like these covers. I'm okay with them. And we get to the new one. I just, I don't, I don't like it. 
it can be argued, well, Haley, she's just standing in a pretty dress, like from the first one. Okay, what I love about the series is that Kestrel is not a warrior. She's not a fighter. She's a thinker. She's a strategist. And she can wear a pretty dress. They're, they're trying to make her into the warrior assassin fighter. She just isn't. That's not, that's not her character. And so I... I don't like the new covers. Mm -mm. Okay, next series. Sort of similar to Throne of Glass in two ways. One, they did away with a horrible person. Two, it happened at the very, very beginning of the series, so I have the whole thing in one cover design. Um, and that is the Shatter Me series. These are stunning covers. I love these. I think the, the eyes are so much better than that thing. Throughout the entirety of the series, I don't know that she puts on a dress. Also, I just think it's kind of boring and not all that exciting. This one wins, 100%. Do we agree that this cover change was like, thumbs up to you guys? Like, yeah. Thank you. Okay, next one. So, this one is definitely one of those ongoing series businesses. Businesses? Things? Issues? First one, Rebel of the Sands. I think this is lovely. I love the color schemes. I love the detail with the flowing feathery thingies with the stars, the gold, shimmery metallic. We've got this business down here, the outline with the horse and the palace and the desert and things. I think this is lovely. The second book in the series, there's a person on this cover. I don't like, I don't like people on the cover. I mean, can we just, can I please have you agree with me, this one's prettier? Please? I'm unhappy. For the most ridiculous reason. Okay, so there's a lot of inner conflict on this one as well. It's an ongoing series. I love the, like, initial covers, but also I love the new ones too. Bone Season series. Okay. I think these covers are lovely. I think they're really pretty. And, you know, there's a lot of symbolism in the book, and they're very simple and just very clean. I like these a lot. And the new ones... Yes. Okay. I actually like this. I think this is a pretty cover. I still like it's clean and simple. But... They're different. They don't... What's nice about this is that the publishers let us have the spines be moderately similar, so when they're all stacked up on my shelf, it doesn't look like she's a bunch of random books sitting next to each other. The other really nice thing about this is that these, you can still get these in collector's editions, so you can still get each book with covers that match the original design. Which, you know what? Thumbs up to you, Blue Fairy, because that was, that was a wise choice. So share your thoughts with me. What do you think of cover changes? Are there some that you like? Have I missed any? Which ones have changed that you like the new one better? Do you think caring about cover changes is ridiculous? Because I think that a little bit. I a little bit think that. I acknowledge that it's a little ridiculous. But yeah. That's all I have today. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. I hope you have an excellent Friday. Bye. All right. Growing out a pixie haircut is the most vile experience I have ever had. I feel like, you know that, you know the melon cat thing? That's what I feel like every time I look in the mirror.